my birthday. <laughs> hey everybody, it is a girl Cecilia Dream and I'm back today with another video. y'all if you read the title down below today is my birthday please don't mind it being dark and my energy not being all the way super high y'all it is 6 35 in the morning which is super early for me i know i've been working on my sleep schedule but i'm up because i'm i'm not gonna lie i didn't like just just wake up i just brushed my teeth and washed my face so i've been up for at least 30 minutes or so now but I'm up because my county is actually voting today. So exercising my political right. One thing about me, I've been voting since before I could vote. But I just remember going, however, whenever, many times you had to, when I was younger with both my parents and my um, siblings to go vote when I was younger. So one thing that I've done ever since I could vote is voting. So today, waking up early, go to the polling place to vote exercise my political right if you can vote make sure you vote and make sure you do your research when you vote as well that's one thing that i usually spend time on doing is looking into all the different people so i need to finish getting ready i need to do my hair need to put my clothes on and then i take a long for the day it's gonna be a chill day because it's a weekend but this weekend oh this weekend though y'all gotta stay tuned it's gonna be two different vlogs because time i don't, I don't want the vlogs to be too long but let me stop talking let me get over here do my hair i'll show y'all my outfit and my hair when i'm playing. okay okay y'all so here is the hair let me unwrap it i like it i like it <laughs> um this is my first time doing flexi rods like this so i didn't really know which way i was going but the front looks good and the color looks good and that's all that matters to me and the back also looks good look at it 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 and let me show you the outfit that's of course you know outfit by shein i saw top shein waist sleeves i cannot remember at the current moment but it's from a small business black owned business Hands are from Walmart actually, and then shoes are also from Shein. Of course, my Jamaican necklace is from Etsy, and I'm gonna be putting this on my birthday girl that I'll be wearing all week. <laughs> this is from Amazon. Just like this. Um, scent. I'm. I'm still new to getting into perfumes and all that sort of stuff this is gonna be part of my girl room era where i'm figuring out about that so i put on this vaseline body balm just to help it stay longer on all the hot points and i put on very sexy which is what i got it i got this for christmas and it's like my second time using it i think this is from victoria's secret but i'm not sure so gonna head out pretty soon to low but i just want to show you how the fit i should have did a tiktok i thought about doing tiktok after the fact but if anything i just worked off it again and make a tiktok but y'all follow me on tiktok i've been trying to do some stuff on there but yeah let me head out and i'll take y'all along with me for the rest of the day but so far so good just so much, but they get paid. hey y'all hey y'all so it's later in the day it is uh, like 2 30 right now sorry for the bad lighting i should have brought my light y'all i bought a new light for my phone like one that i can take it with but i'll probably unbox it on tiktok i haven't unboxed it yet it's for the weekend but i'm at ihop now like i said it's after two i haven't done much since last time you see me we went we voted i got some hash browns from chick-fil-a because i don't know y'all hash browns from everywhere just don't hit the same i just really like chick-fil-a hash browns so i did that Bacon or sausage? Oh, I'll do bacon. Bacon? Mm. Um, so, got some hash rounds from Chick-fil-A because they just hit different. And that's all I wanted. And then I went back to the house, watched it on TV with my niece, and fell asleep. So, that's how we got to 2.30 now. This is like, this is basically the first meal of the day. I'm at IHOP. I'm going to go to... Can't read 
But then I have merch for me. But that's fine. One thing I'm learning this year and just growing up is that like you can't be scared to go out by yourself. You know, how are you gonna make friends if you always go out with other people? You gotta um no. Um you can't be afraid to go out by yourself because you're not gonna make friends when you go out with other people. Like you can still make friends, but like this is make friends when you go by yourself. And you can't allow not having someone to go with stop you from going somewhere. I was talking with one of my hairstylists about that. We're just like this year you like you really can't just be waiting on other people to do things. If you're interested in doing something then you should go if you feel comfortable, you know, so Today I'm taking myself out for every meal I plan on eating out. I'm super excited about that. Also just getting my rewards and stuff because it's my birthday. Um, so starting out at IHOP today, I plan to go earlier and then run some errands. But since it's later, I'm gonna do IHOP and I got some stores I need to go to. Um, and then I'll go home, maybe. It depends on the timing. And then I'm gonna get lunch later on or get my second meal today. And then my last meal every year, I do the same thing for dinner. And I'm super excited about that. But we have an IHOP. I'm just chilling right now, waiting for my food to come out. And when it comes out, I'll show y'all what I get. But yeah. Okay, so here's the spread. I have, I don't even know what this is. Two egg breakfast or something. We got a short stack of original pancakes, some water, some lemon to clean my utensils, and some warm syrup. Very excited. Also, watching I Am Zoe. I love watching I Am Zoe, but I'm gonna eat now, enjoy my breakfast, and I'll talk to y'all whenever I get to the store or whatever the case may be. Okay, y'all. Food from I Hop was really good. I have some to-go stuff over, over here. But now I'm on the way to run some errands. I just got a text from my dad saying that I may have to pick my mom up, which I didn't know. But I have to head over there anyways. So I haven't waited to see if that's what I'm supposed to do so I know what store to go to next. But y'all, I thought it was cool. My server was really nice. I tipped her, all that sort of stuff. Um, but they have this new like I don't know if like if y'all go to IHOP a lot you know they have like a reward system and all of that but they just upgraded it before you just used to get like a free stack or whatever on your birthday they changed the reward system this year so there's points so I, and they were saying that I could pay with the app so I was trying to pay with the app but it would not let me do it so I have my server pay with card or whatever um, but it took forever because like of course, you know, they expect you to pay with the app. She gave me the receipt earlier on So I'm like sitting there waiting for like 15 minutes like are they gonna see me and see that I'm ready to go <laughs> but um, She ended up getting to me and then I don't think she knew how to put the code in for the rewards I'm not sure if I got any money off today, but it's okay cuz I got extra rewards also today So if anything I could just always come back to IHOP another day and get some breakfast or some brunch or the case may be that's the way I see it um but yeah so that was fun now I'm just waiting to see what the next thing is but y'all I'm excited y'all oh in the hair I don't know if I explained the hair y'all I fell asleep um when I told you earlier I fell asleep I put my bonnet on because I want to you know that's just what you do when you go to sleep you put your bonnet on but it kind of flattened out the curls it's still cute though but I liked I liked knowing what to do with my hair i don't know if i showed y'all but i have flexi rods in and the way that i did it this time was different than the way that i did it for like my pictures for my birthday pictures and all that sort of stuff so i liked it like it gave the curl that i was looking for it gives the curl that i want to learn how to actually curl my hair with a curling iron or with a flat iron or whatever but it's so hard for me but when i did the flexi rods with it i did it gave me that curl as if i curled it with a flat iron or a curling rod so i was super excited about that and really i need that for tomorrow because i got some stuff to do tomorrow i might continue this vlog to tomorrow but um uh, let me stop talking i gotta figure out what i'm doing for the rest of the day <laughs> yeah so i'm currently in crumble getting some cookies because i love me some crumble so something on this i did end up having to pick up my mom so i didn't end up going to too many stores so i'm gonna go to the stores now i'm not gonna get that second of the day today because timing, it's like almost seven o'clock. 
It is seven o'clock. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get these cookies. I'm going to go to the store, and I'm get it. I'm gonna get my dinner, and I'm gonna go home because tomorrow is big day. So that's what I have planned for now. But I'll show y'all when I get my cookies, what they look like, and all that sort of stuff. Okay, y'all. These are what the cookies look like. It's giving very delicious. Time to head out. Thank you, combo. At Starbucks, just left. I got a venti mango dragon fruit lemonade, and I added passion tango on top. This is my first time getting this. I saw it on Pinterest, so let's see how it tastes. It's okay. I feel like the I'm really tasting the tea. Like it's not bad. Hold on. It's not bad. But I just feel like I'm missing the sweetness in it. But I mean, other than that, it's good. I would recommend it. I mean, to be fair, the recipe that I saw online did say to get peach juice added to it, but they ran out of peach juice. So that's why. Maybe that's why I didn't taste as as it's supposed to taste. But got my free Starbucks for the day. And now I'm on to go to Target because I need to return some stuff. And then I'm gonna see if they have some stuff. But I'm almost done with my errands today. I'm almost done. A lot of errands didn't go the way they were supposed to go. I went to so many Walgreens. I only went to two Walgreens. Let me not lie. I went to two Walgreens. But out of the two Walgreens that I went to just today, I've been to so many Walgreens in like the past three days. I think that's why I'm just like, whatever. But let me put this one down so I can drive. And I'll see y'all later. Okay, y'all. Um, so in Walmart, I don't know if y'all can tell. In Walmart. Looking for some makeup things. Spoiler alert, I'm trying to, I'm not really trying to learn how to do makeup per se, but I'm trying to um, learn how to do a thing or two. Um, so that's why I've been going to so many Walgreens looking for stuff and then not finding things I'm looking for. And while I've been so many um, Walmarts also looking for this stuff, um, so yeah, that's something around. So far, I picked up two things of sauce. I know it's a little OD to pick up two things of sauce. However, we like this sauce in my house, and I have been contributing ever since coming back home to the reason why it's running out. <laughs> so I thought, let me just buy some because I think I may use it tonight. I'm not sure, but yeah, looking for some things. I don't think they have it here. So, turns out they didn't have what I needed here. But it's okay, because like I said, I did find some other stuff at the other places. Um, so I'm just leaving with this. Last store, I don't know, I'm going everywhere, y'all, today. I went to Walmart, I mean, I went to one Walmart, two Walgreens. I went to Carbo, y'all saw. I went to the beauty supply, I didn't show you that because I was with my mom. Um, I went to Target. Um, where else did I go? I went to two Starbucks because the first Starbucks was out of all lemonade. Like, what in the world? And I don't drink coffee, so if it ain't a lemonade or something like that, then I don't really know what I'm getting. Or like a hot drink, but I didn't want a hot drink today because I just had a hot drink like last week or whatever. So, one more beauty supply that I need to go to. And then I'm going to get my dinner. And then I'm going to go home. And then I should be done leaving the house for today. Like I said, got to go to sleep on time tonight one thing about me in any store if they got a self checkout i'm gonna be there uh -huh. i don't know if anybody else is like this but if it ain't self checkout i'm gonna do it i don't even want to talk to nobody so i'm gonna always be at self checkout period self checkout line could be dumb long where am i gonna be at self checkout period you see those the kit kat blueberry muffin Y'all should try that. I tried it. It's so good. It actually tastes like a blueberry muffin, like for real. You know, sometimes you be going to these places and they be saying it tastes like stuff. It might be tasting like that. But that Kit Kat, it's good. It's really good. All right. Got my stuff? Head it out. Okay, y'all. Unfortunately, <laughs> just left the Walmart trying to come to the beauty supply and they're closed. At least it looks close from out here. It looks very dark. So, no beauty supply. It's fine. 
I'm just trying to figure out because you know I still got this um lace frontal on that was slated by K Styles. Y'all have probably already seen that vlog. That's from the photo shoot vlog. It's still slated on my head. It's been uh over a week now. Um, and I plan on wearing it for this weekend. And y'all, please say, really, really subscribe to the notification bell because y'all, this weekend is actually gonna be lit. Now it's just it's the weekday. My friends live far, so I'm just enjoying the day to myself. The weekend's really gonna be lit. But that's not the point. It's hot outside, so I was looking for like a better glue to really like lay this down because I can't be having this thing fly up. What if I see somebody that I'm trying to get their number from and I can't get their number because I'm not coming correct? You know, you gotta come correct. So. I don't know. I think I have some at the house that I could probably use. And I'll probably try tonight. No, I'm lying. Because tomorrow's an important day. And I cannot risk things not looking the way it's supposed to look. So, I'll try it tomorrow night. Um, and try it on Thursday. Try applying it tomorrow night. And see how it lasts on Thursday. But, I'm basically trying to make sure that the lace don't lift. And say hello to everybody. But, it's okay. They don't have it. So, now we're on the way to get food. That just means that we're closer to getting food. So, I'm going to go... And then y'all see my special birthday dinner that I do every year. Hey y'all, so I pulled up to my dinner location for the night. Like I said, I'm not eating dinner here, I'm gonna take it back home. But, so I'm at, I'm at the Juicy Crawfish. Here's the menu and stuff I got. Let me zoom in, that's what, oh. I got the S3 daily special and I got two orders of that. Because I love, I love my snow crab. And I know that I have found, over the years, I've learned through ordering seafood myself that when they say a half a pound of snow crab, usually that equals out to one cluster. And me, I love me some snow crab. So, I'm gonna get two of those. I used to go to Juicy Crab. It started off as my dad making it himself. And then when I started buying it for myself, I would get it from Juicy Crab. But the price of Juicy Crab sometimes just be OD sometimes and the prices here are better like literally i'm getting two of these for cheaper than like one meal at juicy crab so i highly suggest juicy crawfish i i do like their food a lot and they have a lot of extras if you're not like in seafood or, or whatever but i love seafood so this is my dinner for the night and i also got extra because usually every year when i get it for myself my dad always wants some my brother always wants some my sister always wants some everybody want to get some so I'm getting extra so that I'm not mad that they're eating my food. So, yeah, just waiting for my food now. And there's a Walmart over here. <laughs> a part of me really wants to go in to see if they have what I need. So I might do that. But it's literally right there. And then I'll go home. Yeah, I promise. I'm going to go home. But oh, I'm so excited for my dinner. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like when I get it. But super excited. Super excited. Okay, y'all. We got the goods, we got the goods, we got the goods. Sorry, I stuffed a whole lot of stuff in here. But, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. Now I'm gonna get home, but I'm gonna go to Walmart. But let's go. Ah, so excited, look at me. At the Juicy Crawfish. Mm. And that's how you know you in the hood, y'all. One thing I noticed, when you in the hood, both doors don't be open. I don't know if y'all ever noticed that. If you, I don't know where everybody stay at, but will you be in the hood? <laughs> Only one door be open, and you know which one be open and which door be closed. And they do that for a certain reason. They don't just be doing that just for the sake of doing that. Now, let me close the door. I don't know. That's not safe. But they be doing that for. I'm inside. They be doing that for a specific reason. If y'all that. But Walmart and I'm going home because we're ready to eat. Ah! Dropped it in the family chat that I'm finna be home soon with the good. And everybody's so happy. I'm trying to figure out why everybody excited. This is for me. <laughs> I don't know what they thought, but it's for me. So I don't know why we cheering and being so excited for. So. But I'm on the way home, so I can chow down. I like to eat my seafood and reflect on the year before the night is over, even though I do have more time. Before the night is over, I do really want to just say, I really thank God for giving me another year, showing me through this last year. This last year has been full of a lot of blessings. I really hope this music isn't copyrighted so I don't gotta mute it. Last year has been really full of blessings. Graduated college early, had a job, did not have to pay for anything. 
for school this past year was getting paid to go to school actually found friends that I really believe are my forever friends but that I actually mesh well with been on trips with them I love them support me and all everything they were in my birthday photo shoot thing they were the people these are the people behind the camera and my photo shoots and talking and stuff they're my girl yeah so just a lot of blessings I really did feel the love today pictures will be dropping soon I haven't gotten the edited pictures back just yet but they will be dropping soon I'm super excited um and I can't wait to see where God takes me in this next year. I know there's a lot in store for me. I can feel it. This is my year. So, just want to thank God in advance for what is to come. Because the best is yet to come. And, whoo, Lord, I don't know what you have in store for me. But I know I'm ready. And I know it's about to be a fun experience. Let me focus while I'm out here in the parking lot. It's late at night, empty now. Let me get in the car and I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, y'all, I have to get back out here real quick. Turn the room to. The smell of coming into the car after the seafood has been marinating. Oh! Shut up, this day. Hallelujah! Okay. Back to getting home now. <laughs> Excuse the look, let's show y'all <laughs> the fit. I had to put the hair back because, like I said, when it comes to a seafood boil, I don't play. I put the bib on because I'm not trying to get dirty and I wore the gloves. I usually don't wear the gloves, but because I have my nails done and I'm trying to keep these for the weekend, I didn't want to stain them or get them dirty or anything, even though I'm going to be taking them off um, tomorrow and tomorrow evening ish and reapplying it. But let me show you the damage that I did. Here's what it's looking like now. It was way bigger earlier. It's just the corn is in there. The potatoes are in there. There's a whole lot of sausage, which I love. I love me some good sausage. And there's a couple pieces of shrimp. Maybe like, really like two or three pieces of shrimp left. And then here's my little dump pile over here. I'm, I'll probably come back to this and eat a little bit more before the night is over and whatever else left I have I'll save for like dinner tomorrow but this was this this was bomb this was so good y'all I really do suggest going to Juicy Crawfish let me tell y'all everybody I don't know if everybody knows how to eat a seafood boil the correct way but when you're eating a seafood boil you don't eat the potatoes first why because i've noticed in the past when i used to eat the potatoes first usually i eat the potato to help soothe any sort of spiciness because i'm not a huge fan of spice so i would usually eat the potato to help cut the spiciness but when you eat that too early on if you know potatoes starch all that sort of stuff fills you up so when you do that you're not able to eat as much so that's why i left the potatoes there the corn i just never got to it because i love me some crab legs and i went in shape for the cat crab legs but it's super good i got the um i got the special seasoning mix so that's all the seasonings together and i got it mild which has a okay spice for me someone who doesn't like spice it wasn't like anything that i gotta be like <sighs> to or anything but yeah this was good um night birthday's almost over I have less than an hour left in my birthday. But, like I said, the vlog is not over. I'm going to show you everything that I got today along with some Amazon packages I got this week that are going to be important for the next vlog. But I'll show y'all that. I probably won't do the crumble cookies tonight because I'm full. And usually whenever I get crumble, I like to try each one with my sister and we share our reviews about it. So I probably will dig into the crumble cookies tomorrow and hopefully I'll catch my reaction on camera. If not, I'll come back and let y'all know how I feel about this week's cookies. But this has been amazing. I've loved my birthday. I've loved the food that I've eaten. It's really good. Also, y'all, the drink, the Starbucks drink, it does get better as it mixes and as you get to the end. It just needed some time to mix. Okay, y'all, so I'm back in the room to do a little unboxing for y'all. Or not an unboxing, but a little haul for y'all. Show everything that I got today. Along with some stuff that was delivered from Amazon over the past few days. We got a couple things. Um, and some of the stuff also wasn't from today, but from yesterday as well. So, first thing is Walgreens. Got a few things from Walgreens. Hygiene type stuff. 
So I got the Burt's Bees Conditioning Lip Scrub in the Honey Flavor Type Scent or Scent. I never or I haven't used this just yet. And also, don't mind my hair. I know I just had a bonnet on. But I've never used this before. But, and I know that a lot of people say don't or people that are like for real estheticians and things like that say not to use scrubs on your lips because I guess the scrub is abrasive and like peeling the skin off or whatever would dry your lips out more. However, I've recently noticed in the past week that my lips are actually peeling now. Like they're not, like they are still dry, but they're peeling and the peeling hurts like crazy. So I'd rather just scrub it. I know, I know, making bad decisions. However, to counteract that, I re-upped on my Burt's Bees Overnight Intensive Lip Treatment. But this time I got the Passion Fruit and Chamomile um, scent. So this is the one that I use right now this is just the regular original scent this is the Burt's Bees overnight intensive lip treatment in I'm guessing this in the natural scent or I don't know but this is the original see I'm almost done so I want to fill up and I got this new um flavor this time so we'll see how that is these are super expensive but <laughs> found it so that and then as I told y'all earlier I'm trying to get into makeup y'all leave me some suggestions down below but I didn't want to spend too too much on it because I am still new to it and I don't even know if I'm gonna like it I'm, I'm however many years old now still never really gotten into makeup so I don't really know if I'm really gonna get into it but a couple things that I got I saw them on TikTok so I picked them up I got this instant lift brow pencil in the shade deep brown this is by elf I got this at Walgreens so we'll see how this works for my brows also for my brows I got the wild brow deep brown um fiber gel from elf as well sorry if everything is um flipped the wrong way I'll probably flip the video so y'all can see it correctly um and then I also for my it's an eye pencil but I got it for to work as a lip liner is this covergirl perfect point plus eye pencil in the shade espresso um i really want to get another lip liner but i couldn't find any ones in my shade out so maybe tomorrow while i'm out i'll see if i can find something but that's everything that i got from walgreens then on to target so i returned some stuff at target so i don't have those anymore and then i picked up this it's a nun i think it's pronounced nun hydration sports thing this is what it looks like and it's in the flavor strawberry lemonade and there's 10 tablets in here and basically it's a tablet that you put in water and it adds electrolytes and it adds more hydration i think it's sort of like if you've ever heard of liquid iv it's kind of like that i got this for the weekend because i'm going to be outside i'm going to be hot and i don't want to have any mishaps over the weekend because i gotta get it back home safe um Cause I don't, it wasn't, I didn't vlog it for YouTube. However, if you follow me on TikTok, y'all been, I'm being consistent on TikTok. You really can see more of my life on TikTok. But I went to the Atlanta Juve this year and it was inside and it was hot. It was super hot to where like, I, I started seeing black, like no kidding. It was kind of scary. I started seeing black. I'm so happy I wasn't there by myself and I was with someone else. Cause I probably would have just dropped on the floor right there. But good thing i had someone there so we just walked out i got to sit down and get some air and i think it's because i didn't have that much water that day this weekend i'm going to be outside in the heat all the time and inside with a whole lot of people hot all that sort of stuff so to prevent any issues i'm gonna get this i'm gonna keep this on me especially because when i go places a lot of times i forget to drink water so hopefully this should help me so i don't have any bad situations or whatever then i have some stuff from beauty master this goes back to the makeup sort of stuff um i picked up this sassy eyelash dark glue or glue in the shade dark i already have eyelash glue for strips um i have the duo brush on adhesive with vitamins in the um color dark this is the box that it comes in i haven't really used it much because I don't wear makeup and 
it's hard I don't really know how to put lashes on but like I said I'm trying to learn and I got this because I got some of these hold up hold up hold up I got some of these so I got some individuals um this is I don't even know how to pronounce the brand but this is basically like the generic brand in the beauty stores um and I got the flare long black and the flare medium black I was thinking I could mix some of these to get a good um, lash line I bought these because I've been trying to put on lashes recently and as in trying I only tried two days and the second day I gave up in like two minutes so I'm trying these because I've seen on TikTok that a lot of people um, these are easier for some people to put on that can't put on um, strips so I'm gonna try these and that's why I got that glue and then I also got some regular strip lashes just in case even though i already have a lot of strip lashes here that i could wear um but i just bought some new ones so i think these were, these were cute they're from the brand la flair they're three french lashes i just got two one in the side no one in the style a076 and the other one is in the style a071 um Last thing that I got from the beauty supply is one of these roll-on little perfume things. These things last forever. And I saw someone on TikTok say that this was a good scent. She mixed it with another one, but I couldn't find that one. But this is the Can Can by Paris H. Or I'm guessing that's Paris Hilton. Something. But just got this. Damn. I got some stuff from Hobby Lobby, and this is the last store store that I went to. This is super random. This has nothing to do with my birthday, <laughs> but I decided to get this Royal and Lang Nickel, yeah, Lang Nickel Engraving Art little set. It was four forty nine at Hobby Lobby, and I don't really know what it is, but I think it's I think it is something that would be cool for me to do when I get bored or something. So I picked up one of these. Then, I picked up, I gotta show these in the correct order. I picked up this, I picked up this little cow boy hat. I would be like, what in the world? But this weekend, my school or some people from school is hosting a cow boy, or it's, the theme of the party is Wild Wild West. So, I got this to help with my outfit for the theme. Y'all, if you ever trying to do like Wild West thing, go to Hobby Lobby for your hats because this hat is $5. I got another hat, I'll show y'all later, but Hobby Lobby is where I found it the cheapest. Um, and then I got these two little ribbon things. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. I'm not sure what the vibe is that I'm going for, but I just got this because this doesn't come with the string and I would like a string just in case I want to take it off and so I don't lose it and I don't have to carry it around. It can like, just to make like a string for it to just sit on my back or whatever without me losing it. So, not sure which one I'm gonna use, but got this from Hobby Lobby. Now, that's all from Hobby Lobby. Now into the Amazon stuff. I got a few things from Amazon. Ooh. And I just ordered, before I came on here, or while I was still downstairs, I ordered another thing from Amazon. I've really got to stop. I got another cowboy hat. But y'all, this one from Amazon was probably like $14. Way more expensive than the $5 one. So, I'm going to be returning this. Um, but this one is cute as well. I don't know if y'all can see it. It has like some little stuff on the inside, some stuff on the brim. But, I mean, I got a new one. And t that I'll be wearing and not this. So, that's one thing that I got. And then I also got this. I got this crown because it's my birthday. Now I do have another crown that I bought that will be on TikTok that I unboxed. I think I got it last week. Let me show y'all. Um, this is the box that it came in. And this is what the crown looks like that I originally got. This was for my pictures. Um, however, the issue is this is my first time doing this, but I thought about it. My idea was for this to go on it, you know, but not on it like this, on it like right there. So I thought, hey, this is not gonna fit or work. So 
Um, y'all, everything is on here because I got so much over here. So I bought this. This is open in the bag. Let me open it up. I could do something like that, maybe. I don't know. My thought is either I'll do this since it's already open, or my mom was saying that I could probably cut that one and put it on here. So I don't know, cause this one is looking like it's struggling as well with just sitting up the correct way. So I don't know which one I'm end up using, but I'm gonna be making a video when I do that. So got the crown and that's all that came in that big box. In that Amazon bag, I got this. I'm not gonna open this on here. Why? Because I'm gonna do a TikTok for this. So follow me on TikTok at I'm Sailor Juicy. You can see this. But this is what I was talking about earlier. That's gonna be that light that's going to help me get some good pictures this weekend so y'all can see everything in videos. Well, nothing be dark because I'm gonna have my light on me. And this light has been going viral on TikTok. So super excited about that. I got this. It's basically gold fringe because I'm gonna be decorating my hat because it's my birthday still, you know? So basically the thought is to decorate or put this fringe around the brim of the hat so it could give you like Western, but make it glam, you know? If you know me, you know I love sparkles. I love, love, love some sparkles. So if you wanna see how the hat turns out, make sure you subscribe to the notification bell because I will be doing a video on how to decorate. Um, a little cowgirl hat but basically that's everything that i picked up today along with some amazon stuff that i got for the weekend i am not going to go to bed because y'all it is almost 1 a.m and like i said tomorrow is a big day i'm super excited really believing and trusting in god for tomorrow so i will check back with y'all tomorrow because my birthday is not over my birthday is all month you already know what it is so I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. So it's the next day. You already see the hair done. Fit done. It is 4 51 p.m. So let me update y'all on the day. I'm here. Remember, I told y'all I was going into the city today. However, I got a call. So let me let me explain. So today, I was supposed to be having an interview with a company that I'm very, very interested in. I've been I applied early June or maybe maybe I applied late May and I had the first interview I did the second interview where I spoke with someone who was on the team and then today I was supposed to be talking with the CEO and the founder so I was super excited about that and I was supposed to be going to their office which I went to I'm not sure if I told y'all about it but I went to the office after I got my hair done for my birthday photo shoot so it may or may not have been in that vlog or not. So I was like, okay, this is going to be coming up to the city. I'm going to do some stuff, but some stuff happened. So we ended up moving it to being virtual. Well, nothing happened with me, but <laughs> with the CEO. So they ended up being virtual. I just talked with her. It started at 3.30. Literally, I just picked up this phone as soon as I hopped off. So our conversation was amazing. I'm super excited. And it's a really sad. I'm like, I'm going to get the job. I already kind of knew I was going to get the job because I really relate with a lot of them. On the team that I've talked to had amazing conversations with a lot of people. If you know me, I really don't like interviews, to be completely honest. I like, I'm always so, I feel like I just think too much about it. And I feel like I start rambling and all that sort of stuff. But with this company, all the people that I've talked to, it's just come so natural to me. Everything has ran off the tongue the way it's supposed to. So I'm super excited that I did that. And it sounds like, because she said next week, the operations manager, um, she said the actual name, but I don't want to say their names. But um, they're going to be reaching out to me about next steps. And she already talked to, she's already, she started talking in future tense. Like, you know, some people just say in interviews sometimes, they still keep it as if like you don't have the job. But she basically was talking as if I had the job. Like, oh yeah, you can help us with doing this with our company and you can help us with that and da 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 da. It's a small business that I'm working with. I wanna work, personally, I wanna work with small business because I like being able to talk with people, have more influence over what I'm doing, have more ability to grow because it's small. So someone has to do something, someone has to learn it. I'm someone who, y'all see me doing DIYs and stuff on here. I like being able to just pick up different things so super excited hopefully next week i have a job 
that's just the reality of college y'all i went to uga with a lot of people doing really big and good things a lot of people are going to master school going to law medical school whatever the case may be a lot of people are um got really big jobs at really good companies they're getting flown out to different states and all that and that is cool but one thing that i will say and i'm thinking about starting a series about this i talked to my hairdresser about this but i'm thinking about starting a series on like next steps after college because everybody's next steps aren't the same and i said that didn't work my butt off y'all i graduated school in three years and i didn't pay for anything i was a valedictorian in high school I'm smart, I know what I'm doing, but every there's something for everybody. I chose to chase my dreams and chase my interests rather than chase money, which going into college, I feel like I was chasing money. In college, I decided to switch my interests because I'm chasing my dreams, chasing something that's going to make me happy. Something, one thing I talked to my sister about, ugh, I'm gonna get too deep into it, but um, real quick, if y'all are interested in me doing a series about this, um, what I want to do now is something that I would do if I was never getting paid. Something that I, if I didn't get paid for it, I would still do. That's where I'm at. So if y'all want me to do a series, I will let me know down in the comments um, section. But I am interested in doing that. And I think I will because me and my hairdresser, we always talk content creation. But super excited. It sounds like I'm going to have a job. Have the fit on. However, y'all didn't miss much because I did make a TikTok get ready with me. So that will be going up. I don't know when, but it'll be going up soon so y'all can see um, me getting ready for the day. Y'all see the hair. We got the curls. The curls for the girls. I really like this way of doing the um, flexi rides on me. It gives me some nice curls without having to do a fly iron or anything. But now, I think I told you yesterday, I didn't go to this Mexican spot that I wanted to go to for lunch yesterday. So I think I might go right now. It's going to be 5 o'clock. I think that's what my plan is for the rest of the day. I haven't, I didn't eat breakfast because I, I just didn't wake up early enough. I did, but then when I heard that the meeting was going to get, when I heard that the interview was going to get pushed back, I went back to sleep. I woke up, posted a TikTok, talked with my content creation girlies. I have a group chat with some people and was going back to sleep. So I think I'm going to do that because I'm hungry, but we'll see where the rest of the day goes. Update on the nails. Down. Put y'all here. I've lost two. This one came off yesterday while trying to. I don't even know what I was trying to do. Something with my hair. This one came off. Today, this one came off putting my pants on. <laughs> it's okay. Um, because they're all gonna come off later today, so I can give my fingernails some good TLC. But let's stop talking. Let's go. See what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. I'm so excited, y'all. Like I said, God is working and doing extraordinary things in my sleep. I'm super excited when I get this position, when I get the notification that I got the job. I'm super excited. It seems like there's a lot of room for growth with this, which I'm so happy about. Because if y'all know, y'all know I do want to be an entrepreneur eventually and own my own firm for what I'll be doing. So... So excited, but let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. <laughs> so, changed my outfit, wearing a dress, but I didn't want to come out in my professional clothes. And I'm at the La Perea Mexican restaurant. I don't even have anything to show y'all. Okay, okay, I think. La Perea Mexican restaurant. Just got my food, so I want to show y'all what I got. This is my first time coming here. I don't know if I tell y'all that. It's my first time coming here. Got some water to stay hydrated. This is their guava fruit juice, I believe. Um, they came with free chips and salsa. I always get lemon on the side for my utensils. And I just got the nachos. So nothing too crazy, but I'm excited. I'm gonna dig in because y'all, it is now 7.23. I didn't leave the house until after six o'clock to come over here, so I'm super hungry. It's my first time to eat. This is my first thing to eat today, so gonna eat and I'll check back in with y'all when I get to the house I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next but yeah back home y'all see the fit the house closed again because I finished resting my seafood have to get my hair away but it's time to try our crumble cookies of the week um so let's open it let's open it um 
this week y'all already saw it before but i just had to get that's cosmic brownie i believe that one's like blue, blueberry cheesecake that one's honey bun and i think this is cookie batter or something like that i can't remember all right so this is supposed to be like the little debbie cake basically of the brownie galaxy the galaxy brownie so This is good. This is good. I think I like this a lot because um, it reminds me more of a brownie, like a, a thick fudge brownie than like a chocolate cake or anything. And the icing is it's good. I rate that one. Um, let's give it a 7 out of 10. Not because it's nasty, but because of personal preferences. We're not really liking chocolate, for real, for real. But, for not liking chocolate, it's good. So, 7 out of 10 for me. I would suggest or recommend getting it. But if you know Crumble, you know they change the flavors every week. So, I don't know if they'll have it by the time y'all see this. Okay. This looks like from the side, from the top. Mmm. This one is good. My brother and my dad... Definitely don't like that one. It tastes just like, mm. I don't know about cheesecake, but I don't like cheesecake, so I'm not that good. But you can definitely taste the blueberry and kind of has somewhat of a graham cracker crusting around the actual cookie part. It's really good. I rate this cookie also 7 out of 10. Once again, not because I don't like it, but because what I've noticed with crumble there are cookies that like it's okay like any other cookie and then there are cookies that are like oh my gosh this is amazing what i try to do now that i'm at home and i'm not at school anymore because coming home from school i would just get it because it's something i can't get when i'm at school except now they have a crumble location that just opened up and i'm like what when i leave y'all wouldn't do that to me but it's okay it's okay i rest my case but now that i'm home in order to prevent myself from going all the time if the flavors look like basic, I try not to go. So that's why I feel like a seven out of 10 to me means that this cookie is basic. It's okay, but it's nothing that I would wanna go specifically to crumble to get because it buzz, you know? So yeah, next one is honey bun. This is what it looks like, kinda just, it looks like a honey bun. I don't know how to feel about this one. It's not bad once again. I'm gonna have to give it a seven out of 10, why? Because for it to be honey bun, it's kind of very basic. But I mean, honey buns are basic. I don't know. But while I was eating it, to me, it tastes like an oatmeal cookie. Like it has the flavorings of an oatmeal cookie without the oats or the raisin. So, it's still good. I do like it. Probably wouldn't come out my way to get it, though. It's just giving basic it's just giving basic right now good but seven out of ten now on to what i believe is cookie batter i can't remember okay this is what this one looks like it's also going to be seven out of ten it's okay but I think it's because cookie batter, like, it reminds me sort of of a Biscoff cookie if you ever had that. Which are good. But basic. In a sense. So, I don't know. This week of crumble cookies, good. Very good. Crumble always do what they gotta do. But I wouldn't, like, run to the store next time to get these if they had these line, this same lineup another week. Good. If I want something sweet or something like that, but not not like crazy for crumble. And I've had some really, really, really good crumble cookies where I've tried it and I was like, hmm, crumble's still open. Let me make the drive over there. But these ones, like if I had these, well, I'm eating them right now, but. I wouldn't feel like, oh my gosh, I need to go to the store again and get another one. I never do that because these things are too big. 
<laughs> however it doesn't make me want to go back in the car and get another order of it it's just like okay these were nice this fulfilled my little sweet too these were nice so that's how i feel about the crumble it is super late so what i'm going to do for the rest of the night is i'm going to flex you ride my hair back up for tomorrow i'm going to try to do something with this lace for tomorrow and uh, i'm going to edit some videos for y'all because i need some space um i need to get some videos edited so i need to do that it's just that a lot of videos i'm working on editing right now require voiceovers so it's like i have to find the time to do the voiceovers they're not hard it's just that i have to find the time to where i can sit down in silence and do them that tends to be an issue with like no distractions or anything so i'm gonna try to do that tonight i'm just gonna be up super late but i'm gonna do that for y'all and then i'm going to get ready to go to bed or she wants her face take a shower all that good stuff tomorrow is thursday so i'll be planning not planning i'll be packing and doing all of that because i'm going out of town on friday make sure y'all subscribe to the notification bell so y'all know when that next video comes out because the birthday vlog was very chill, just me enjoying time with myself, learning how to be with myself and just love myself and just all that sort of stuff. But this weekend is when I'm going to be with the girls. We're going to go out. So it should be super fun. It should be a super lit vlog. So y'all stay tuned for that. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at I'm Sincerely Drew and on TikTok at I am Sincerely Drew because y'all know I'm starting to post on there. If you haven't followed me, make, make sure you follow me on TikTok. Now, Instagram, sometimes I'll be forgetting to post, but TikTok, I post every day on TikTok. So you won't miss a thing for me. And remember that I love y'all so, so much. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. I really appreciate everyone that I met out in public that said happy birthday to me saw my sad said happy birthday i really appreciated it it made me smile from the worker at ihop who was just like your birthday fit is on point i said thank you like y'all just made my day super amazing stay tuned for the birthday pictures they haven't dropped just yet but the whole month is my birthday so it doesn't matter um love you all so so much and my name is sincerely g and i'll see y'all in the next video bye